What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 Once again, another change in scenery. Today I have an Evike Black November. This is the Black November edition of the Mystery Box. I'm feeling good. This is the first Mystery Box with the new camera. I'm actually running like a dual camera setup, so this will be cool. I'll switch to the other camera. Um, but before you guys do this, I don't ever, I'm not one of those hoes that asks for likes or anything, but if you guys can set up post notifications or hit that little bell thing, I know a lot of other YouTubers say it, but my last video, which I'll put right here, it did not get at all. There is, there is no views on it all because it didn't go to sub boxes. I checked to some of my other friends. I know YouTube has problems with that, but without further ado, this is what you guys are here for. You're here for the unboxing and so am I. Let's hope we got something good. I'm not looking at it yet. Anything good? I feel some stuff in there. Ooh, all right, first thing. I won't look at the main guy yet. All right, first, se their secondary thing. This is a Smith & Wesson MMP40, and if I'm seeing this right, I think this might be uh, one of the guns. This might be the non-blowback, and I might have had one of these when I was like 12. I can't tell if it's the same one. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the exact same one. CO2 mag? Nope, it's a, oh, it's a green gas mag. Nope, it's not the same one that I had. I think it's a green. Is it not? It's a Springer. <laughs> <laughs> it's 1,000% a Springer. <laughs> so, uh, I think it's Springer. It's like one of those heavy versions of the Springers. And there's the safety, right? So, first <laughs> weapon, a spring pistol. I didn't know that Evike ever did Springer. So, it's not even a non-blowback. It's just a Springer. Look at that. Isn't that funny? So, it's a tan. Um, I, think that's, I think the safety on this is like these. This back thing. The real safety is... Is the safety on the bottom? Anyway, I am not sure, but this is a, so this is a spring MMP. Does that mean we got a super good rifle then? Maybe? Dear goodness, this slide is like. All right, we'll do some text on difficulty. Here you go, cameraman. You're gonna try and fix that. I don't know if it was. So spring pistol is the first thing, which I have never got a spring pistol out of an e-bike mystery box, but normally they do, they give you pretty good stuff. I don't actually recognize the box. They do include, looks like this is one of the um, the speed loader things. This might be different from the other one. Or it's a mid cap. What in the world? I actually have no idea what this is. Is it like a, a BB compartment saver? A toolbox? A little mini toolbox? I'm not actually sure what this is. I don't know. I. I always try to do this as much as possible. I want to be surprised by some of the stuff in here. So clearly, you guys are seeing genuine re reaction. Um, I think it's like a mini, little mini toolbox or something. But it like has little different compartments inside of it. I don't know if you can set your tools somewhere. And then it looks like we have a coin here as well. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of cool. It's an e-bike. No cash value. It's a lion. It looks like some sort of emperor in the back. And then... The patches, the things that really matter. So this is a sniper's patch. That's actually kind of cool. See that sniper's patch? That's pretty cool. Cool little thing. And then a some sort of like chicky little thing. That's cool. This is Evike Blue. That's all it says on the back of this. But you guys are here for the rifle, as am I. Show some stuff for the F1 Firearms Demolition Ranch. F1. This a, box says King Arms, but I am not at all sure what this is. Official license, Bro Airsoft. B R O. I don't know if it could be a King Arms sniper rifle or a uh, nice M4. I'm getting sniper rifle vibes off the box. I don't 100% know if that's accurate or not. I do not know at all what this is. I'm trying not to break the box at all. But no promises. I'm thinking snipery rifle? No. Oh, cool. Black Rain Ordinance. Yo, this is actually sick. I don't know. Look at that rail system. Holy crap, this is actually really cool. So spring pistol comes out, but then the sick AR body, it feels, I might actually be steel. It's not even, that's not even like it's just a, a metal. That feels, I mean, that feels way nicer than aluminum. I don't know what the OEM on this body is. Look at you, King Arms, coming out with some nice stuff. Look at this, this ambi, actually, I guess I'll start from the, the top. I'll probably, like, this thing is actually sweet. It's got, like, a fluted barrel up here. So it's kind of got serrations in the barrel, and then it's got kind of nice tubular rail system. I really like these rail segments right here. These rails feel really thick, really nice. I don't know exactly what's going on up there. That's some sort of, uh, I, don't know. I don't actually know what that's for. I don't know if it's for wrapping better, so you can wrap a little bit better when you have it on. But actually, <laughs> that feels super comfortable. I love, look at that black rain. The trademarks look sick. Black rain on that. 
and it says let it rain that's your thing there up here we have a charging handle this is some sort of like charging handle with some sort of serrations on it, it actually looks really really cool it kind of honestly it like hurts a little bit it's like one of those things i don't know if you would want to kind of hit it with gloves more um let's take a look at the mag in it see how the mag looks in there um, also i i have neighbors around hopefully none of them are scared of airsoft stuff mag doesn't seem incredibly well there it goes um the the trades on the body look amazing look at the trades on that it actually looks sweet this is one of the best this is one of the best quality airsoft guns i've ever felt externally honestly i don't know what this is as far as ranked on their guns but this thing feels amazing externally the bot the lower i can't tell if that lower is metal or polymer on the lower it feels metal i can't tell i know this rail system feels really good the body actually i can't tell if this is polymer or metal my hands are too cold because we're outside and it's like probably like 29 degrees um but i can't tell if it feels metal or i don't have a magnet to check or anything but then we also got the sweet stock over here so this stock's actually cool it has some sort of compartment in the back um i really like the grip as well i don't i if you guys know me i don't like these thumb grips for ar pistol grips i just don't like the style of that i don't think they're cool um i just don't like it i'd rather be able to have it flush and have my hand flat i get that you want to kind of put your middle finger there um, but I personally don't care for that that much. It does look like it has a functional bolt catch. Hop up, just standard metal hop up. But this thing, dude, this thing actually looks super, super cool. You have the anti-rotation pins in here as well to make it look as real as possible. But this rail system, man, this rail system feels absolutely incredible. I just can't tell if the body is metal or polymer. It does feel really, really good. So whether this is a mid-grade gun, I'll find out probably towards the end. Whether this is a mid-grade gun or a high-end gun, dude, it feels awesome. If you've not got one of these, I don't know how they shoot. Obviously, I haven't shot it yet. But as far as externals feel, like the thing feels so solid. It feels awesome. Um, even if the body is polymer, it does feel really good. It's got really cool branding and trademarks on there. Um, the flip iron sights look pretty cool. But this is a pretty, it's a pretty cool unboxing. I got this trigger in here is like. It's funny, the front is, is flat and it's got kind of a cool angle on it, but the back has some sort of serration. So I, I'm guessing it's something in the real world that Black Rain does to make it cool. But I cannot, dude, look at that barrel. I cannot get over that rail system in that barrel. That thing looks incredible, that just little circle thing. I don't know, it's kind of like a, almost a hex pattern in a sense, but it feels really good. I'm not a huge fan of a longer barrel shoulder rail system, but on this gun, it actually looks really, really good. And I'm pretty content with how, like, I, I would I would at first I would not be like oh this is this is that cool with that rail system that little short I'd rather have the rail system come out here and be like 14 13 12 inches or something I think this is 14.5 inch barrel so I think it actually might be 16 I can't tell but this looks really good and with the fluted barrel it actually adds that kind of style to the end I want to try and throw a pretty cool flash hider in here I might be able to throw some sort of suppressor that maybe goes over the barrel a little bit so it kind of reduces that distance from the rail to the suppressor or rail to the end of the gun but I'm really impressed with this gun. Um, thanks for watching this video, guys. This has been Alec Mac 111 and I will see you guys later.